Thank you, Mr. Speaker. February marks Emotional Health, Boost Your Self Esteem and Children's Mental Health Month. In recent years, something like 6,500 people die in the UK each year due to suicide. And in 2021, I was nearly one of them. Luckily, my attempt failed. I was found by family members quickly. I received amazing care at St Helia and Springfield Hospitals, didn't do any permanent damage, and was well looked after by the NHS in the months that followed. And I want to take this chance to say thank you to everyone who saved me, and sorry to my family and loved ones who I put through such an awful ordeal. In that moment, I felt alone and scared and like there was no way out, and that the world would be better off without me in it. But I don't recognise that man anymore. I know that nothing is ever really worth that. Help really is out there, and I'm pretty awesome. (laughs) Does the Prime Minister agree that one death by suicide is one too many? And will he send a message from the dispatch box today that whatever you're going through, you are not alone, that help is out there, and better days lie ahead? Well, Mr Speaker... I know the whole House will join me in commending my honourable friend for his bravery in sharing his story. And I can absolutely assure him that we take this issue incredibly seriously. The new suicide prevention strategy ensures that we will have the actions in place to reduce suicide over the next years because we absolutely recognise the impact that it has on people, their families, and we should do everything we can to prevent that from happening.